Hello, everybody. Hello. Oh, there we go. You know Watch what I just that. realized? What? Our new extra light makes it harder for me to hold this. Oh, no. Should we try shutting cool. it off? No. I like our extra light. It's so live. We're here. With Steph and Eileen. Yay. Yeah, yes. So <laughs> let us know if you guys have any issues with the video feed and also the sound. I just want to be sure you guys can hear us. Okay. Um, we're back just to the regular laptop and then did some we'll monkey monkey stuff and we'll see how that goes. So, so yeah. it is lagging now that we are live. Okay. So that's good to know. Well, hopefully that that'll take care of it. But we have three folks on. Hello. Welcome. Happy Thursday. It is Thursday. It is National Chocolate Cake Day. Yes. It's also Clashing Clothing Day. Clashing Clothing Day. So kind of together. I don't know. <laughs> I think we look good. I don't know. I'm I'm probably not going to keep this on, even though I was really cold, which is why I put it on. It didn't make sense. You're warmed up. It's actually good. Now that you close that front door. I've got nothing on my phone. She's got nothing, folks. I just hit the link, and that's all I did. She's got nothing. Nothing, honey. Okay. Hey, remember that cereal, Nut and Honey? Anybody? Oh, yeah. Well, we've got nine people on. Welcome, there welcome. You Thank you. Welcome. Um, oh, technologically Pat says challenged. Hello, Pat. Shelly says, yum, chocolate cake sounds great. So we are we'll going to maybe later on. Yeah, have some chocolate cake later on, along with a country register recipe that Steph looked up for us last night. So I'm looking forward to that very anxiously. It's a good hungry. food night. It's a very good food night. Yeah. Uh, lots to get started. So let's start off with our question of the week. The question of the week is, and I have to read it because it's kind of wordy. What is your sewing superhero name using the color of your shirt? So, like, I would call this, like, maroon. And the name of the last quilt pattern that you finished. So, mine will be Maroon Kitten Caboodle. That would be my superhero, so, sewing superhero name. What's yours? Mine would be Turquoise Mystery. Turquoise Mystery. <laughs> I'm sort of sneaking behind in the background. Mystery Turquoise. Or maybe we should do it. Pattern name color. So Kitten Caboodle Maroon. Eh. You you put that it would be you put it, turquoise. Yeah, you put it know. in however you think. Hey, yeah. then my heavy Kurt is on. Hello. But you guys Hello. put it however it sounds best. Either yeah. the pattern name first and then the color, or the color of your shirt and then the pattern name. So what is your sewing superhero name? All right. Let's see first. Kurt, it would have something to do with Quilting 101. I don't even know. That's really the not pattern. the name of the pattern. So I don't no, know what his queen. shirt. Blue. So Connie says blue braided table runner. Ooh. Blue Ooh. braided table runner. And what that is sounds your, vicious. Oh, and then Attack. we should say, what is your super power? That's, a, that's another good oh. question. What is your super power? So mine Does would be. Does that be quilting related? It, well, it could be any, anything. So uh, maroon, kitten caboodle. My power is power not to sleep. <laughs> I don't sleep. I don't sleep anymore. Mine would be deep breathing. Oh, Stan's <sighs> is orange freestyle. Cat's <laughs> is gray hillside charm. Ooh. And Jean's is red herringbone. Oh, I like that. Red herringbone. That's like red herring. Mm. Only bone. Red herringbone. I like it. There's a bonus. There's a bonus in there. All right, you guys. So now I just got to think of superpowers. Think of your superpower. My, actually, What's I, your name? What's your power? I wish my power was speed. Yeah. That would be good. That would be, that would be, be very flash. good. Flash. Flash. Well, um, what was that? What's your name? What's your power? That's from a Disney movie. I don't know. <sighs> the Disney movie. If you know the name of the Disney movie that says, what's your name? What's your power? It has Kurt Russell as <laughs> uh, super strong. He's super strong. Uh, Shelly says my quilting superpower would be losing pieces that are right in front of me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Have you ever, so yes. this is just a, a question. <laughs> Have you ever had a block that you, you got all your blocks made and, and you've either, one, lost it, so you've had to redo the whole thing, or something horrible, horrible, horrible happened to it. And so you, rather than cleaning it, you just decided it's better just to remake the whole block. As long as it's not the whole quilt. 
Yeah. Let me just say that that has happened to me recently, and I decided that that's why the cat is staying outside. Oh, no. So, <gasps> oh. just, I won't go any further because I don't want to ruin anybody's appetite. We got All right. food to eat tonight. We do. We do. <laughs> All right. So let's move on. So you guys, announcements. We have one-stop shopping spree in Williamsburg. So the I-80 Quilt Shoppers one-stop shopping spree at the Gathering Barn in, I in Williamsburg is happening February 20th and the 21st. So it's a Sunday and Monday. And we've got this guy right there. It's little reminders. Uh, next time you're in the store or one of these other participating shops, be sure you pick up this little um, doohickey. 16 shops are going to be there, including Melting Longer from Hiawatha. So that should be exciting. Yes. Um, actually, I do have a comment. We were going to say something about Marty and Me. So everybody, just as a reminder for the Marty and Me class, we are delaying it by one week. Um, and I do need to run something by you. So if you have any questions, I want you to make sure you either call the shop or something like that. But what would you say about meeting in the morning on the 19th? So let me know. I'd I'm thinking I'm thinking like about 1030. So if that works for you, let me know. If not, I'm going to be sending out a request to everybody to see what they think. So, um, um, so we had somebody request a paper piecing class from us, and we'd like to know who else would like one. So please let us know if you're interested, and we can develop one around your time frame, our time frame. Steph also just finished a um, okay. trendsetter tote bag class. Um, that we successfully love to do another one. We showed you guys this last week. Um, let us know if you guys are interested in that, and we can set up another class for that. Yep. All right. I love Pat's superpower: quarter inch seams. Perfect <laughs> quarter inch seams, like naturally. That would be amazing. No extra foot needed. Rose, Rosie, it is in Williamsburg, Iowa. I think there's other Williamsburgs in the country. So oh. Williamsburg, Iowa. No, I'm sure she knew it was Iowa, but. I just thought, in my oh. head, it was funny. <laughs> so, I went there. Okay, delayed law. <laughs> okay, so, Steph. Yes. What's your favorite thing? My favorite thing. Okay. You have to understand, it's winter. My family does puzzles. My family being mostly my husband and daughter. So, I'm thinking puzzles. This is our last little puzzle in stock. So, but it's, and it's, well, that's right side up. I just have the sticker on upside down in the back. <laughs> How much so, is that? It's 1995. That's not bad. So, just a great puzzle. This is, uh, it's intended for ages 14 and up. Or in some cases... That just goes to show you how young I truly am, because I'm not a very good uh, puzzler. So, I cannot do puzzles. <laughs> oh, we are, we're ha currently having fun with another one, but... This one is um, under 30, just under 30 inches and just under 20 inches. So it's, it's a thousand pieces. Am I in your way? Oh, I was trying to read the name of the person who did this puzzle. And I, oh. it's Masako Wakayama. Yeah, you said that. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I just think this is the puzzle that we've got. I just think it would be fun if you ever need a break, but don't want to leave quilting completely. This is a good option. So, and it's a Thank You America quilt, and that is the name of that. One. So, um, yeah, if you want to order it online, we can do it that way. If you want to come in, we can do that, but that is our last one. Oh. So, I just wanted to promote that. And I think we're going to be getting more of those 5D crystal things, because I just got like a, hey, you're getting a shipment of kind of thing. Wonderful. So, I'm really looking forward to those, and I might just buy one and just do, because I really enjoyed that. I did too. When Which I one did, did you do? I did, well, I did the one I bought from Quilting in the Valley. It's a, a Halloween Christmas card with cats. Okay. And, and jack-o'-lanterns. And so it was a very small one. It wasn't big at all. It took no time and it just, it was so relaxing. It, it is very relaxing. That's the thing that I'm surprised about. Because like I said, on other shows, I have mentioned that I thought Eileen was crazy for wanting to get these. And I, she, yeah, she, she. Her superpower is finding things in the shop after they've move, been moved. Um, anyway, I was just, she told me I needed to make one. And it was the most relaxing period of time. It really used to turn off your brain, but you're still being creative. This is the one I made. It's nice and blingy. And I believe we're getting more of those. So we have um, the, the bookmarks, which is what leads are. Or you can make several of them and just line them up. 
So we have three different, or two different ones in stock right now because the others have all been sold. But And the bookmark, it's like the back side is actually a really quality back. It's not like cardboard. It's almost or a leathery faux leather. Yeah. But it's they're really fun to do. And Tori is booking through the little snoopy one. So when that gets done, it's gonna come up here. And right? mom so I can see it. Mom has the one that she is doing for the shop done, but she is sick, so she can't go out and do things. So we won't be getting that till later. But then we have these cutesy wootsy ones. Oops. There we go. Isn't that those adorable? I think I might take this one home. <laughs> We know what she's going to be working on. Anyway. All right. So, so we still have the one with the blue ball of yarn. So I guess that technically could have been my favorite thing, but it's not. Because my favorite thing just happens to be this sensational Sip and Snip 2 from the Gypsy Quilter. And it's this really cool, like, garbage thing. And then if you look at, I don't know if you can see. Really cool garbage. Well, it, it holds all your scraps. And then it's got a spot for your pen, your pencil, your um, scissors, and then obviously for your drink of choice. And Steph's got the, um, our door keeps on opening mysteriously and then closing. I closed, the, yeah. Well, oh, it's, it's just, just the inner pressure, door. And it kind of freaks me out like there's a ghost in here. But or like not. someone's coming in. Right. So here it is, all opened up. Put together. Put together with its mug inside. And this part here, I can do it. It just goes up like that and it attaches to your sewing table or whatever table you're at. And then you can see this is where you could put your your pencils and your scissors and anything else that you might notion you need right there for your project. I think this would be fantastic with your paper piecing. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Well, you know what else that would be fun? Hmm. Remember how for the Jelly Roll Race Quilt, you had everybody just throw oh, yeah. all your Jelly Rolls in there? You just you put your strips pull, them in there, pull them out? Yeah. So it could be an into you know a garbage or it could be a regular thing so. so anyways this is my favorite thing plus it's purple and i like purple and it's just funny because we had the same mug that they showed in the picture on the oh, yeah. thing so oh, see it? compare okay, where am i here i am see it see it see it demo see it. mug <laughs> awesome all right so that's my favorite thing what are we going to talk about next Steph? uh the next thing we have is block of the month let's talk about emma all right, you guys, we've been talking about Emma for a while now, and it's getting closer. We've got this gorgeous Emma quilt in blue and turquoise batiks. And we're going to be starting this, hopefully, if fabric comes in when it's supposed to, in May. So that's why online you'll see it says tentative. You can register online. The registration is $25 to hold your spot. And then um, after that, you'll be getting, obviously, your blocks every month. So here's a few things with that. We are going to be at It's So Tempting meeting the third, is that right? Yes, the third Saturday of the month at 10.30 in the morning. Pat will be leading our group here. At Iowa Falls, we're gonna be meeting the fourth Saturday of the month. And I will be leading that, and again at 10.30 in the morning. When you go online to register, there is a drop down box that indicates where, what location you'd like to be at. Um, so that way we can get an idea of who is wanting to go where and the numbers. Um, so we have that. A couple special things is if you guys get your wide back and batting from us in the sixth month, we'll give you a discount during that time for the wide back and the batting. Um, and then what else we have? Did you talk about the five percent off or five discount? No. Dollars? So we're gonna do this. So obviously we can't run it on the first month. So the first month you come in, you get your block. The second month you come in during the stated time and date, if you come in with a finished block from the first month, you get $5 off that month's block. So let's say that would be June. So June's block, you get $5 off and so on and so forth. So that incentivizes you guys to get your blocks from the previous month done because the whole point of the block of the month is to... End up with a quilt in a set period of time. Correct. And obviously to get together because, you know, we just like to get together. So that is the incentive. And then hopefully we'll be able to do like maybe a little get together or party after all is said and done. Everybody can show off their quilt tops. They don't have to be quilted, um, but we'll try to figure that out. I know we tried to do that for our last block of the month, but then COVID hit and it kind of messed everything up. So the COVID messed a lot of things up. <laughs> it did. It did. So 
Go out to itsotempting.com, go to shop online, click on the block of the month, you'll see uh, registration. And we actually also have, um, it, they're not in stock yet, but it shows you the blocks. So you can actually order the blocks each month online too. So, all right. Okay. More new stuff. Okay. What we, we Okay. Well, do you want to talk about what Iowa Falls has? Iowa Falls just got in. I was there earlier this morning, and they just got in a bunch of new fabrics, some adorable uh, baby quilt-type fabrics. It's called Adorable Alphabet from Benertex. Um, so you guys go and check that out. We also got some more to add to our collection for the Valentine's Day, some fantastic layer cakes. And we got something, oh, uh, Cats and Quilts. That's another really cute line that just came in there. Um, and I think we have something from here. We might be pulling and doing some sw swapping of that. Um, but super cute layer cakes there, you guys. So go and check those out. It just came in. Um, and then here we got a bunch of new stuff. Also, we want to talk about this one? Yes. So we have Be the Light. Um, this is from Contempo. And it's a beautiful, and actually, I'm just going to hold a... You want to hold up the pieces you already cut? Yeah. That would be so much easier. So I already have, this is one of their free patterns. It's called Choose the Light. And we'll have these available for you guys. But this is the sample that I'm going to be doing. Choose the light using Be the Light fabrics. And this is from Contempo Studios or whatever you want to call it. So this is a super cute, kind of a girl power, beautiful, kind of reminds me of um, Frida. That I don't know if you know that um, Latin um, artist. Reminds me a little bit of her kind of motif, but sweeter colors and obviously no unibrow. Um, but it's really sweet, little angel, it says believe. It's just some really like heart to heart and girl power, be brave, brave girl. Just some good affirming words. And it's just a really, I love the color palette too. Soft blues, teals, pinks. So really, really gorgeous. What does this say? It says, may you choose light, live in it, surround yourself with it, be it. So that's the panel that comes with it. And then we have this very sweet, I'm going to get my, see, I've got my little tabs to tell me which numbers. You all can't see that. It's too bright. Yeah, we're going to argue with Dwayne about putting his new light on. I don't think so. No. Well, so when you guys come into shop, Dwayne actually added another light, which is amazing because it makes this little area that was a little bit dark over next to our solid wall so much better and brighter. But well, now we just have to make some adjustments for. To angle it down. I well like the, the the it's so live sign. I had oh, to angle it oh, down oh, oh, so that oh, the oh, light didn't okay. reflect. So, all right, going back to be the light. So we have a really sweet. No, it's not a light. It's kind of a cream, yellowy cream with these really sweet yellow flower print, all over print. Um, and then we have this really cool turquoisey tone on tone print that looks amazing. And then we have this one, which I just I don't know. There's something about this that I just love. I think it's just the shading of the reds in there and that kind of the pinks, it's just really pretty. And so I'm pairing it with some of our cotton shots that we have, um, cause I didn't get out of all the fabrics that are in the pattern, which is fine because you know, you need to be creative. So it's a yellow and kind of a turquoise. And then I'm going to throw in some of our pearlescent. I think this one is called wedding cake. I'm going to try to get you guys to see it. It's just shiny. It's cool looking. So, anyways, so I have that, for, ouch, pins, pins, people. That's why I don't use pins, because I poke myself. So we have this really, really cute project with these, and then they're, oh, thank you. I have to relabel it. As if I won't know, that's the panel. <laughs> that's pretty aware. And then yes. what else did we get in? Uh, oh, we got more quilts with select mats. Yes. We got the big ones, not our big ones, but we did get the 24 by 36 and to join with the 18 by 24 that we got the other day. So we have quilter select mats. If you've been waiting, now is the time. We already have one on hold that are in the large size. So uh, just be aware of that. And um, now is the time to get them while we've got them because they may not last long. I mean, they're huge. That's 24 by 36, it's a wonderful size because it's big enough that if you have that big 24 inch. Yeah. Um, ruler that'll go all the way across it so it's a good size and you got light in the dark on both sides just like everything else and contortionistic this this might be the one remember we showed in that whole thing about using the the pants or skirt 
hanger. It's oh, yeah. Hang this one might not be a good one for that because it's pretty heavy. It yeah, might well, not, unless you got a good clip. You, you'll just have to try it. And there are, there are some pants clips that are better than others. So if you're going to do that with that hanger, just make sure it's got a good, strong grip because that is one heavy mat. And we only have um, three in stock. Okay, only three left because, we, like I said, we already have one that's... Miss Chris Hobbs. Already, already spoken for. One. Spoken for, yes. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, we got in more fabric. Oh. Some. This is from a blue and white elegance. So I think this one would go well with your PEO. Oh, yes. There you go. So, white daisies. Some nice maybe. white daisies. This one I love. White daisies and I don't know if this is a wild rose, but this is a great stripe pattern with kind of a, a blue and white motif in the center bits. This would be great for those uh, placemat or not placemat, table runner patterns you do. Oh yeah. And this one actually matches that other one. So if you need a backing for your table runner, this would be perfect. Or you can just make your table runner bigger. And then look, you can get somewhat somewhat matching coasters. These are those um, stone coasters. So these are those very are always cool. nice. Very, very cool. And then we got some cool notions in. We did get a whole bunch of notions in. So they're here. We won't tell them about. Them. I'm kidding. You gotta come find them. Gotta come find them. So I'm gonna start with these guys. Okay. One of each. One of each. So these are also from the Gypsy Quilter. I like the Gypsy Quilter. They just got some really cool stuff. So this is quilt block markers, and these have just a little hole at the top of them. So that way you can stick your pin in them. And I really should have used my mine, but I didn't want to open these up yet. It comes in a cute little heart um, container, so you can store them all in here. So there are letters and numbers in here. And then you have white for your dark fabrics. And then this really pretty lilac color for your lighter fabrics easy to see. Okay, we also got these nice little containers. I love quilting. Well, you know, I never really understood why we had these until we had to take our rotary cutter somewhere. This is perfect. Do you have the rotary cutter down there? I was just going to show them how it quilts. I do not. I don't know where it's at. Oh, it's probably up here. Here we go. So, one rotary cutter. You spend good money on it, you want to have to protect this thing. Yep. So this has a netted side. So you stick this guy in here and boom, Replace, now replacement blades. And ready to travel. That goes on the other side. Well, when it's outside the box, it can fit better. <laughs> Pretend. <laughs> so anyway, it's a good way to, and if you do any retreats, this is great. And if you're not a pink person, I am not a pink person, but I'm learning. I was um, going to say, I think you're more of a pink person than you think I'm you are. I'm a bright pink because person. Because you, like, get, you like get pink fabrics for stuff. and like Well, but it's usually more... bright pink. Yeah, I suppose so. So this is one that we have cut it out. How cute is that? Now, that's in green. For those of you who are not pink, we've got green. Does anybody remember that? Cut it out. Oh, yeah. Totally. Cut it out. So funny. That was Joey. Joey. Joey okay. Costanza? No. No. I don't know what his last name was. Yeah. I just know he's on Family House. Family House. So, and then it just zips up and it's from It's So Emma. So, pick one of these up when you sign up for your Emma, Emma. block of the month. There you go. Um, we also have this guy. Oh, so this is. A So Daisy Laundry Basket Quilts Little Notion, specifically made for our Aurifil thread. And what you do with it, it is these two little help pillows, or not pillows, pebbles. That's what it looks for, pillows, pebbles, whatever. Anyways, the top and the bottom. And they connect to your Aurifil top and the bottom. You've got one side that goes in. I'm really having a hard time with, like, where, where I'm at on the camera tonight. Well, and I'm not sure that everything's focusing either. No. But. So anyways, here's what that bottom looks like. You see it goes inside, and then this just snaps on. There we go. The top, like so. Now you're asking, what's the whole point of that? Because obviously you can't use this it's on your machine. It's making it pretty. <laughs> it's making it look pretty. No, it's actually, we're going to pretend that this is a hand sewing needle. 
You're or you could use this one that is a hand cylinder. Now it's too tall. Oh, fine. So you could drop that guy in there, snap that on. So when you are doing your hand binding, you can put your hand sewing needles in there, and then away you go. So a lot you of could people, also throw extra pins in there. You could. A lot of people like to do their hand sewing or hand binding while they're driving in the car. I think um, Jan from Iowa Falls likes to do that. So this would be a great thing if you use Oracle thread for your binding. Um, but anyways, this is a really cool, cute, and it comes in yellow and pink. We had a pink one out. Yellow and pink. And yeah, for those pink people again. Pink. Yellow and pink. Oh, uh, there we go. So Just got to be careful good. on that reflection. Well, hello, Lynn. How are you tonight? Yeah, Lori oh, said we are blurry. We are blurry. Okay. Oh, maybe the camera screen needs cleaning. Maybe. I don't know. Or maybe it's that ghost that's running through. So, have you guys ever wanted to do little projects because you had just leftover pieces? Well, there's the one out there you can do with a tape measure and you cut it up into different pieces. This one actually has hinges on the outside, so it's a little bit higher class than what yeah. that one is. So it's so, hardware included. This is the har hardware, so you have the, the pattern plus you have the hardware. So it's both in com combined. So it's a little kit that so, tells you what to do. So all you need, you buy this and you do one fat eighth, one fat, another fat eighth, and then a fat quarter and a fusible fleece section. And then that's all you do. So you can raid your stash or you can find something here. And it's just a simple little easy, easy peasy project, no zippers involved. Which is always a good thing. I like that. Although I need to get over my fear of zippers and do more than I'm the trying. two I've done. You, you I'm trying. Way ahead of me on that one. So you want to do that? Okay. So we have a, a brush and cloth set for how to keep things clean for cleaning your sewing machine. And I would open this, but I'm afraid to do it and have it end up having oh. things going out. I know we have one. Here, scooch it this way, because I'm going to do this. Oops, keep going. I'm going to see if okay. we've got like a little clean. So anyway, there's a brush, there's a cloth, and there, actually there's two different brushes in here, and a cloth. I don't want to, I think it's, it might be sealed, I'm almost thinking. So anyway, there's uh, two brushes and a cloth in here, so it'll help clean everything up on your sewing machine between your big cleanings that you might take to say, oh, I don't know, Denny. <laughs> um, and we'll see. So we are currently cleaning our screen. And actually, I think it looks better, at least from our point of view. I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, actually, I think it might be a little bit better. Hey. It was a little dirty. Our camera Hello. was dirty. All right. Imagine that. So, Easy fix. So clean. <laughs> it works on more than one thing. Oh, Darla thought the lighting. So it could have been the lighting and plus that. Uh, it was just, you know, dirty. Anyway. So. Oh. That's the class. So we talked about paper piece in class. And normally we would do these cute little birdhouses, which we still can do. But I found these, well, I didn't find. They were shown to me. And I'm sure you guys have probably seen these before, but I think they're really cool. This is a four and a half inch square to square quilt block foundation paper. So essentially, you've got 42 of these suckers to make your square and squares. And it's foundation paper piecing. And it's bright. bright. I want to know if Denny approved this. I don't know. But Denny does, I will tell you one thing that Denny has told me. So it is very important that you guys clean the lint out from in between, like, you know, where your feed dogs go up and down those little things. Cause sometimes people will never clean that area. And then literally it's like felt when he cleans it out. So if, if any other place, if you don't clean any other place, at least clean that out. And that will be wonderful and do wonders for your sewing machine. So Yes, it's totally worth it, and it's amazing. It's actually rather relaxing, Clean when she, especially if you get those little brush things and you can go in there and, and start a cleaning, quick tip, detailing it. Every second bobbin, just go in and do a cleaning. Just take your oh. little brush and clean out the fuzz just every second bobbin that you run. Just a little tip. So anyways, so this is a really cool square and a square quilt block foundation paper piecing, and it has fantastic instructions in here, although if I teach it to you, it'll be even more fun than just reading it. Um, and then it gives you ideas of blocks that you can use or to use with these guys. So, okay. then this guy. 
This guide is really cool. This is the Handy Pocket Guide for Quilt Making for Beginners by Angela Walters and Chloe Walters. I don't know if they're related or not, but very cool little booklet that just walks you through supplies, applique, cutting, just, you know, kind of the basics of making a quilt. And it's this really handy, I mean, look, it's not very big. You can keep it at your sewing. They even have some sewing or some quilting designs in the back, because you know that's what Angela Walters is famous for, is her quilting, and her Midnight Quilting Show, or The Midnight Quilting Show. So anyways, this is just really cool and fun. Excellent. All right, what else we have? Well, actually, before we get into this part, okay. I want to say we have a huge $9 Per yard sale going on. We counted the other day and what was it, 122 bolts? 122 bolts. Not quite so many now. I think we finished a couple, mm -hmm. but we do have well over a hundred bolts that are still out here just waiting. You can get nine dollars per yard. You have to get a minimum of one yard. And if you finish a bolt of the nine yard fabric, you actually get an additional 10% off. So we're talking like what is that, eight, 10 per yard? Yeah. That's pretty darn good. So um, we're pretty excited about that sale right now. So we don't know how long this is gonna last. We haven't decided for so sure. So we've got some but tula in there. We've got some cape in there. We've got- um, There's Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz in there. So there's some really good stuff in there, you guys. We've got 30s. I actually brought some samples from what's in that collection. So I just brought a few things. We've got the collection that goes with this one. So if you got somebody who has likes to drive little cars or things like that, all the Hot Wheels, that kind of stuff. This is a good one. We've got that one with a lot of other pieces from that line. Although I disagree with the speed limit sign on there. It shouldn't be 55. You can't drive 55. I cannot drive 55. We also have this one. This is for all your calculus and engineering majors. And this is actually, I know you know the name of this one, but my mind is blank. Uh, 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 out of print. Out of print. It's yeah. called out of print. Um, so that's fantastic for all of you uh, math students out there. If you'd like to make a pillowcase out of that and then sleep on it, isn't that like something like osmosis or something like that? Yeah, there you go. So, and maybe you'll tell us if any of those calculations are correct. <laughs> We've tried with my husband, but I don't know that he's ever looked at it close, close enough. But yeah, I think Dwayne, is that what we did for your Kleenex box? Yes. Yeah. That's what yeah. I thought. So it also works for a Kleenex box, should you decide you want to go that route. Then we also have this one. This is the last one of its line. Count your blessings, or country blessings, or Irish blessings. It's a blessing. I, no, it's count. I think it's count. Is it count? I can't even remember. Count your breath blessings, country blessings, Irish blessings. This is one of our cape options. We've got four different colors of the geodes. But that one is definitely bright. You will not lose whatever it is you, you decide to quilt out of this. And is geodes the Iowa State rock? It is. Okay. Which I think is funny because actually most of the um, most of the geodes are found in Missouri. <laughs> so but for anybody, in Missouri, I was gonna say for anybody in Missouri, if you'd like to get your geode on, there you go. There you go. Then we have this one, which I just think is one of the coolest ones out there. We actually finished one of the bolts that goes with this line today. So we only have two left of this line. Okay. So, and kind I just think it goes well with the case stuff right there. The pink Actually, stuff. it does, doesn't it? Huh. You wouldn't normally think of putting those together. And then, just in case you have anybody out there who's a nurse friend who still needs to deal with masks, we have this guy. And, and I know we, that a lot of people want their N95s or whatever, but you can always put this over to make it more entertaining. Have a or day. it could be a stethoscope cozy or yeah. whatever it, it can even be a mug rug mug rug i mean we love of... our nurses so we want to support our nurses so this let's actually, make something you could beautiful. even make scrubs out of it oh that's a good idea i mean why not it's just sort Absolutely. of a very cool for the caps yeah you can cap mask too. you could have an entire set you would look awesome you all matchy matchy so, so that's that's all the ones that i pulled i mean that was not even a tenth of them <laughs> so oh and of course, <laughs> we've been raiding Iowa Falls to bring some of their products down here. So, we found, we, meaning... I don't know who found it. It could have been Dwayne. It could have been Denny. I don't know. They were hidden away for a while, and that's partly because um, Denise doesn't like these guys. She prefers ISU. Um, but we have University of Iowa, 
boxers in medium size. Oh five dollars. They're all five dollars. <laughs> so, and the thing is, if you wanted to, you could cut it up and make it so into the, something else. So the girls actually, I was going to say, the girls actually did cut up a bunch of these um, into five inch squares. So, yeah, and I think they made a project out of that. So you certainly, because sometimes getting it straight up, like, what's his name? Herky the Hawk? Herky the Hawk. Um, just the face is kind of difficult. You so. could definitely fussy cut a few of them out there and yeah. see what you want to do. But anyway, so, so up close and personal. There you, you go. You can give it to those that love the University of Iowa or as a gag gift to those that don't. And not everybody is going to fit in a size medium, but be creative. <laughs> you know, this is sort of like one of those challenges. We Maybe like we should make that there. challenge. We should make a challenge. Get your hawk, Hawkeye, right? Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Right. Sorry, I'm from Washington State. I know the cougars and the huskies. That's like what just, or even the beavers and the ducks. So from Oregon. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got more of this in. Yes. Monkey bird. I, I always thought it was funny that it was called monkey bird, but monkey really, bird. it's no beards. No beards. So we have the white, the lighter gray, and then we have the darker gray. So yep. we just got those back in stock. They were in back order for a long time. So very happy to have both of these. So if you are, Stan, I just noticed this. It's gooder. Yeah. Well, that was our picture. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. When everything was coming, everybody has made a comment about how it's cleaner. So whatever you did to clean that really worked because I think it looks so, better from our angle too. I will tell you, <laughs> these Mashinka gloves, not only do they work for your quilting, but they work for cleaning off your camera too. Multi-purpose. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things. Okay. Can we talk so, about that now? Yes. Because I'm super excited about this that. This is that what you're so excited about. <laughs> So um, we got in these really beautiful fabrics from and we showed Canvas. Them to you. Yeah, we showed them to you. These are wide backs, 108 inch wide, and they have this really large flower on it. And so I asked Miss Denise Fields, I said, hey, Denise, if I gave you two yards of each, will you throw it on your long arm and quilt the thing? And then I thought to myself, or I thought we could cut it in half and make two quilts. So she did. She she brought it in. Look at how beautiful this is. Look at how big this thing is. She brought it in and she's like, I don't know if we should cut it. And I started looking at it. And if we cut it in half the way I was wanting to, it would just interrupt the pattern and make it not. So we have to go here. You go that way as much as you can. See, look at this. It's, it's huge. Big. Okay, now let's do this. We're going to turn. Change side. Crypto change yo. And it's blue. Isn't this cool, you guys? It is, it's um, 100, so it's two yards wide by 108 inches. So it was 108 by 70, 72, 72. Yeah, because we gave a little extra because, you know, when we the get the beginning, cut. It was beginning cuts are terrible. Yeah. So anyways, so. so she quilted that together. We are not cutting it because it's like a perfect bedspread. This is the um, Kona Solid Celery. Celery. That stuff found that she thought, and actually it does work for both sides. If I were to actually make that not for the shop, I probably wouldn't do this, you know, the one on the other side kind of thing. But if you like both of them, you certainly could. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. I would do the blue or the pink and then just choose maybe a solid or something else to go in the back. We've got lots of new white backs too. So yes, we do. Lots of options yes. there. Um, but this works for both sides. So we just need to bind it and you're done. So what are we? What, what is the awesome thing about this? There's no piecing involved. You just quilt the dang thing, and you're it's done. It's quick. Quilt. You You get your two pieces. You go to Denise, and you say, Denise, please. can you please quilt this? Please. So if you need a quick bed spread, that's about the fastest you can do it. Yeah, quick project. And I'm assuming, I mean, you could do it a little bit smaller. Oh, yeah. You could do it any size you want. Bada bing, bada boom, you're done. That's a great way to practice your free motion quilting on there. And you can actually, there are a lot of people who like to practice tracing the yeah. actual designs. It's big enough, so it's not like you're trying to do a whole bunch no. of little ones. So, so you can do some great, nice big, big movements. Yeah, so it's a great way to do all that. So, and I love it. And that, I asked Denise, I said, Denise, did you wash the fabric? She's like, no, it is so soft. It is just it's really, 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 really soft. So, what what are you laughing at? I'm laughing at Pat's comment. Great sale fabric. Just don't grab what I want. <laughs> Although, 
she she and uh, Megan did get a chance to go through some of it today. So oh, good. Okay. That was good. Now, so you I'm happy to see that Darla made it on too. Oh. She had problems last week. She was trying to get on and couldn't didn't get on until like five ten minutes before we oh. went off. But this week she's on Yay. and she's able to respond. Okay, so I finished up some samples. Yay! Um, so this one is Haven, um, and it is from In the Beginning Fabrics by something Yoder. Tim Yoder? I think his first name's Tim. Timothy, Ted, I don't know, Yoder. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Yoder, if I'm forgetting your first name. But okay. he does, we'll go this way. So I found out that his mom actually owns, like, or he owns the company. Look at this. Isn't this pretty? Anyways, and he's the only designer for the company, but he designs beautiful things. So this is Haven. We do have this kitted out, and it does have miter borders, which I now know how to make a pocket sheet, as well as a miter border, because uh, Denise came in and I was doing it, and I made the angle go this way instead of this way, and I sewed it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that does not look right. <laughs> She's looking at me like, nope, that's not right. So... Yeah. Pay attention to so, what you're doing is the moral of the story. Anyway, the kit, what it looks like, pre-sewn. It's that gorgeous thing right there. It's a, so you know what you're getting into, but oh, the fabric is so cool. I love these colors. It's really, really pretty. And I, uh, my biggest tip on this, when you start it, if you can finish it, do. Or at least finish all of the... Um, like one block wonder type things or label them very well because it's, it's taken me so long because I would stop and then it would take me forever to get it started again because I'm like, okay, what am I doing now? Where am I at? Cause I was not labeling things very well. So that's when these things come in handy. Um, and then even just writing down, okay, I need six blocks of this and this goes here and there because there's different pieces in there and yeah. And I will tell you that that was the quilt that I had to create a whole new block for because I just threw that one block away. Thank you. Kitty cat. <laughs> Cat's not allowed in the house anymore. Sorry, Kurt. <laughs> He's not allowed in the house anymore. Okay, so that is sample number one finished. This is sample number two. I don't think I can do it. Well, I'm just getting it to you. That's okay. So this one talk. is a Villa Rosa. This is Kate Caboodle. And this is using the Tim Holtz um, Beyond Regions Beyond line, um, which we also have kitted out. And it is just so cool. It is, like I said, it's a Villa Rosa pattern. And I literally whipped this up in just a few hours. So. And we actually have those kits. Yep, we do. So, we still have two kits left of this. We have two I like kits it with the, the orange one. border, too. Isn't that nice? And the thing that's nice about those kits, we actually have the backing fabric in included. Oh. oh, yes, we do. It's on the back side. So yeah, we did include the backing fabric, and it's a Tim Holtz backing. It's super soft. It just goes so well with this line that we just thought, you guys don't have a choice. It needs to happen. So there you go. We're, we're making it complete for you. That's right. Okay. So, we have, so those are our samples that I have, the tops have been finished. Oh! You're right. We have to have it up. So, right, have you ever wanted to do little projects? See, okay, I'm a little project person. I, do, I admit it. Little I like little projects. Medium. I like... Things that are not going to take me a year and a half to finish, like some of my quilts. Let's just face it. It's not that I can't do a quilt faster. I'm just usually... What does that say? One hour project, week two? <laughs> Some Pat. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so this one is a so organized design, and it is a little holder you can put... So you can store all your stuff. And basically what you need with this one is two fat quarters, or if you have some really large scraps, that would work too. A third of a yard for lightweight, fusible stabilizer. Stabilizer. Speaking. Oh my gosh. Stabilizer. And cotton batting scraps. So you can just use leftovers on this guy. Um, and then if you have marking chalk, chalk or an erasable pen, a sa one safety pin. One safety pin. They only need one safety pin. And you've got everything that you need for this. So this is, it comes with the stand which is a really nice little thing. And then you can just make it and it just slips right over and you've got all your cool. stuff right there. I actually saw some somewhere where they use this little stand and they just made little mini quilts. Oh, cute. You know how we have our little yeah. cabbages up front? Just make little. You can just get those little cabbage leftover pieces of if you like the colors and make your own little quilt out of whatever That's you want. Just little idea. tiny pieces. 
and you can do that. So anyway, so we so had Percival. Um, I, I cannot remember the gal's name, I'm sorry, but from our last quilt club at Iowa Falls, we had a gal that brought hers in finished. And I'm like, oh yeah, I got one of those at one of the quilting shows because I want to make one. And I'm like, well, duh, dummy, order it for the stores too, because I'm sure I'm not the only one. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So we have some here and we have some at Iowa Falls. So that's a little bit everywhere on that one. Okay, now are we ready to eat? No, well, unless you want to do that one first. Uh, you yeah. want to eat first? Nah, then... we'll do mystery quilt. Okay, so just a reminder that the mystery quilt is still going on from the Register. Country Register. Yay! Ta -ta. With her happy little snowman. I love that snowman. So basically what it is, and just remember it's on page 16. All the directions are right there. And what you can do, let's just come in here. They're all red. All the registers are free, so we'll, we'll get one for you. But anytime you want to make this mystery quilt, feel free to use your scraps. But if you come in and decide you want to do, do it with any of the materials that we have here. Or at Iowa Falls. Or at Iowa Falls, we have a mystery discount. So we're looking forward to seeing what everybody turns out. Um, I know that all three of the girls up in Iowa Falls are working on their own. Yes. I have still made, not made any progress because I've been pharmacying and teaching. Keep talking. So anyway, I'm pretty excited, but so if you wanted a reminder, we we've decided that the churn dash is the unofficial block of 2022 because uh, along with my periwinkle color there, which is the Pantone color of the year. So you were making churn dash, churn dash blocks of whatever color you want. You don't have to make it periwinkle. I just happen to choose the Pantone color of the year. Thank you for Tori for telling me that. And then that, so that's your block one. And then this is your block two. So you use, choose three colors, a light, dark, and medium, and then two neutrals with a light, a light and a medium. So those are great. And I've been using, you know, technically we're not required to use Marty Michelle stuff, but I've been having fun trying to throw that in too. So the templates are always good. And then you usually have a focus fabric. Now I made an assumption based on what I was reading, that G is a six and a half inch block. I think it's its own block. So this is the one that I would make as your focus fabric, because I think it's a full block. Mine just happens to be some cave. So anyway. Is that that's, cave that's on our $9 discount? That one is not on our $9 because oh. that came later. Okay. So, but okay. the other, but there are, there is a flower one over there. It's reds and pinks and yellows. So anyway, if you want to get started on that, you are not too late. This, this is, you know, we've got four months and we're only talking two blocks. We haven't even started February yet. So, so January, February is this edition of country register, which is blocks number one and two. Mm -hmm. Then in March and April's edition, which doesn't come until March. Um, that's, we're making the assumption yes, that we, we will get we blocks are. three and four. four. Now, if this is a block, then that will be really easy. Yeah. If four is the block, and then I'm guessing for the blocks, what would be blocks five and six or whatever for May and June, we'll probably get assembly instructions. If that continues. I'm, I'm guessing they're going to finish it somehow so we know what to put it together as opposed to random pieces. What's the point of having a mystery quilt if we don't know? That's so, the mystery. <laughs> anyway, but if you need your fabric, Come here, we were, we're given mystery discounts, just like so, Iowa Falls. Yep, so Iowa Falls, Story City, mystery discounts for your mystery quilt. quilt. From the country, I just... Yes. Okay. okay, so before we go any further, I am wanting to remember, I think it was in August, we did the Stripology Mixology, and we did a drink. So mm -hmm. I went back, and I was trying to find the episode where we talked about the next one that I wanted to do, and I'm so sorry that we haven't gotten to do it yet, but I could not find it. So then I just pulled my books, and I was like, oh, I'll just pick another one, and hopefully you guys will be okay with that. So I want to show you the one that I want to do, and I don't know what drink to do with it. I mean, I guess I do. So the other one that we did was out of this, the first Stripology Mixology, and it was this really cute star pattern okay i saw this thing and it i think this very well could be the one i wanted to do but i do not know oh, it's it is called you're doing the hunter star. Athena. yeah <gasps> i love hunter star that's my favorite Wait, pattern turn there we go that 
is what we're gonna do. And I'm of course not gonna do the full size one. I'm gonna do the curb size, which is 40 inches by 54. It takes assorted 10 inch squares and this one is blues. And I'm gonna do blues because I'm feeling the blues. You've I've, got I've, the blues. I've got the blues. So, and then for the background and narrow border, it's a yard and a quarter. The wide border, you need a yard. Um, binding and backing, of course, you know, it doesn't take a whole lot of fabric. But I went on to our, our It's a Something website last night. And I don't know if you guys know this functionality of the website, but you can actually, um, I'm just looking at the time, we're going over, sorry. Yeah, I know. Um, so you can actually, um, if you find a fabric that you like, you can click on, um, put it to, uh, oh gosh, what's it called? Like a, a board or something like that. So you can put all the different fabrics on this board so you can see them next to each other and decide, does it look good? And I know it's online, it's hard to see actual true colors, but it gives you an idea of what might work. So that's what I was doing last night on my phone. And obviously my phone's really tiny, so that made it hard too. But okay. you get the idea. But anyways, so if you guys would like to, this is from Stripology Book 2. We have Stripology Mixology Book 2. It's the Athena. And it uses the Stripology Ruler, which is this beautiful guy from Creative Grids. Whoops. There we go. And I am, I'm actually super anxious to do it. So if you guys would like to join me in this, then I'm going to invite you to do that. We're going to have to do a sewing day sometime because we just can't get done yeah. what we need to get done. I think that's what we need to do is just carve out a day and just invite a few people here and we can just sew, do projects. That'll be good. We'll move everything Do out. our own little retreat here. Exactly. Okay. Food. So, food. The part she's been waiting for all day. So, this week is hearty beef stew. And thank heavens for Dwayne and willing to go shopping for me <laughs> because he got the stuff that we didn't have and... Now, there's, hopefully it's still somewhat warm, but there's anyway. There's cute bowls that step put them in. There's a story behind these bowls. We won't go into it because we're running out of time. Okay. But if you ever want to know a story about the bowls, you just let me know. Anyway, so this soup, I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's pretty pretty thick. Um, it actually has V8 spicy mm -hmm. in there, as well as vegetables. And it, and uh, it called for a green pepper. I had yellow pepper. Um, onions, we did meat, I mean, we did everything. I did throw a little garlic in there for entertainment because I figured you can never go wrong with garlic. No, the warm um, garlic is better. And there are a few extra vegetables in here just because um, I was dealing with frozen vegetables. It actually called for a can of vegetables, but we don't normally have cans of vegetables at our house other than plain corn. So we just, I got out frozen veggies and dumped a little extra in there. So, is it a crock pot meal? Well, it doesn't start off as a crock pot meal. It starts in the skillet, but yes. Because you have to brown your meats. You things. brown your meats okay. and your onions and the green peppers and cook those for a little while. And then you throw those in with the beef broth um, and leave that cooking for six to eight hours. The shop has smelled so good all day long. <laughs> it really has. And then um, at the very last minute, like the last half hour of cooking, you throw in the V8 juice and the vegetables and let those cook in. And then, wham, you're, you're done. done. So, Easy peasy meal. All right, anyway, so what is how it is it? It's just hearty beef stew. stew. And right. it is on page nine. Mm. That's not spicy at all. To you. <laughs> mm. That's pretty good. It is pretty good. But it is, in my world, this, it definitely has a hit of something. Is it really? Mm-hmm. But I'm, a, I'm considered a super taster, which means I have a weak tongue or something. I don't know. So Dar Darla it's still good. Darla worked today and she said it made so, it smelled so good. Okay. So now let's get to. Now Lily, what she's been waiting for all day. She's had her bite of healthy, uh, healthy. So. Happy National Chocolate Cake Day, everybody. We are sharing this chocolate cake with you. We'll eat it all. And Steph made her own version too because she found a really cool recipe. So we actually have two chocolate cakes in here. And that's what Darla had today. She brought. Oh, Darla, she actually went. Okay. She ran an errand for me and came back from Ames Aww. and came there. So I gave her cake, and Yay. she was like, "I came back for the cake." <laughs> oh, so so happy National Chocolate Cake Day, everybody! And we're gonna leave it here because it is 7:24 and we're already 10 minutes over. So you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with the best quilt shop owners here in Story City and Iowa Falls. We'll see you next week. Same so time, same so place. Bye, Bye. guys.